Yeah. 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 Come on. Welcome. Good afternoon. Sean Hicks coming at you here. It's midday money, the 31st of March. Hope everybody's doing well today. Happy Easter. The Easter people. We'll get to some baseball picks, some player props, and then be on our way. Let's see. I'll pro I'll I'll come back, I guess, for late night mind tonight. Right? We'll have the well, we have the first half of the final four. We already got Alabama as a ten and a half point dog here to UConn. So we'll have the second half up here tonight. Um I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if there's a late night mind tonight. Not much going on. We'll have a we have a busy week ahead. We have a busy week. I'll have midday money tomorrow. Uh I'll do a Tuesday. A Monday night. There'll be no Tuesday midday money. i maybe I'll do an afternoon money show like we did on uh Friday. I had to do some family things with the kids, get some stuff done Tuesday. I'm looking. There's a 4 o'clock game. Then we have all the regular night games there. Wednesday, we will be doing the Midday Money Show. And then on the Sean Higgs, after the fact, because we have all these 1 o'clock actions, we'll be live on the Sean Higgs channel on YouTube. So hit the like button here. Uh, Mr. Sean Higgs on Twitter. Give me a follow. YouTube, Sean Higgs, and winning free picks. Let's uh, get to a quick recap. Two in one. Yesterday, three and one. We go three and one yesterday with our uh, free picks. So that that is a um, six and four plus one twenty. We go three and one. We'll take it. Dodgers team total, Reds team total, Pittsburgh over, Tampa Bay over. Did not get there. So six and four, and now we are up a buck, uh, plus one eighty there. In the video, player props we do go one and three plus. Um, well, we hit a one fifty one. Overall, keep track of props five and nine minus eighty dollars. Again, they're all plus monies. So let's get to that. We did have Illinois in the chat. I also had Alabama for myself, but you know, that's a split. That's a split. Let's post these puppies here in the chat. The free picks will be in the chat. I got you for three minutes. Hopefully you hit the like button and subscribe to everywhere. And then I'll put these out there and then everybody can go on with doing ourselves. We'll start with some player props. Player props. Let me tweet, you know what? Let me tweet these out here for the for the Twitter family. We're over four thousand followers. I'm there we go. I'm I'm on my way to start them. So rubies yesterday one and three, we did get the uh, Freddie Freeman one. Oh, Eli Fairchild, we're right there. Could not deliver. It is what it is. Listen, we're taking one sixties. We're taking big props, uh, big money props. It is what it is. Mountcastle for the Orioles a plus one thirty five ribby. Again, I, I just jump into ribbies. We we'll, we'll start slow with the ribbies. We're not. I'm not. There's a lot we can do. I get it. Uh, but for now, we'll just do ribbies. I'd even add I'd even add in a little team totals today. Uh, Angels. My guy, Mickey Maniac. I like this kid. And I know they have not hit, but a 265, I'm going to take a shot. I, I, They got this guy on the bench, and you're going to play Aaron Hicks. That's why the Angels are terrible. Give me Maniac, 265. Uh, Cabrera for the Yanks. You know, we had a Cabrera rookie of the year last year. He's off to a nice start. 245, I'll take it. Uh, Suarez and the D-backs plus 180. And the Dodgers, Kiki Hernandez, plus 235. All the player props odds are from DK, by the way. So there's that. I'm just throwing that out there. Let's get to the regular picks. College basketball, uh, 80 and 51 since the tournament's February 25th conference tournaments to the NCAAs. 249, 229. Minus 525. I said the other day we weren't going to get even unless we had some crazy run. And I don't play games saying I'm going to I'm not doubling up or doing crazy things to try to get a winning record. That's the record. And it's 
basically, uh, obviously, probably about 200 more games that I've got on site and in personal life here. But it, it's not a winning year. We're down a little bit. Uh, NC State today plus six and a half. And baseball, six to four plus 180. Again, three and one yesterday. Uh, Orioles run line plus 125. You know, it started out last night. I'll look at lines. It was just the Dodgers over nine. And then as we're going through, I'm like, you know what? We're adding these late. Thank you for the edit button. I don't mind paying a little extra on uh, Twitter. I got some money in my pocket. We got the edit button. We added the Orioles run line plus 125. Royals under eight and a half. Although our guy stopped, our guy stopped you and said, beware of the wind blowing out. That is a nine this morning. But I'm keeping eight and a half. I'm not removing it based on that news last night. I said, I already tweeted. I can't erase it. It is in the chat. I did not bet it, though. I did not bet that game. So. People are like, oh, you can't give out things like this. You're not betting. I tell you if I'm betting the game. You know, Orioles. We got the game bet. Dodgers said this last night. Um, there's plenty of premium plays up. Thirty-one dollars and twenty cents. You get a whole week of them. You, you get with baseball. You're going to get five times seven. What's that? That's just thirty-five in baseball. Probably more. I'm just giving. I'm giving a low five plays a day out. Just random. Not even counting any other sport. So. It's less than a dollar a play. But, yes, yeah, sometimes I I tell you if I don't have them or not. So, uh, again, NBA, nothing in the chat today. I got one on the site. And no hockey at all. That's just me. So we got some streaks. And you know I like to jump on my three-in-a-row stuff. Now I'm expecting the three-in-a-row sweepers here uh, with an extra game in these. Uh, opening opening day series, Yankees going for the sweep today over the Astros, Cleveland over the A's, Braves over Philadelphia. Now, the Yankees are a little doggy. Cleveland's a small fave. Atlanta's a little bigger fave. And I should really come in on all the road teams here. That's my normal MO. We're three in. Let's go. I'm not really looking at that here in an opening round series, especially when – uh, the teams are all home, and it is opening weekend. I know I say don't pick and choose spots like this, but this is one of those where I am. I've had the Yank. I've had um, Houston in-game Yanks to, for wins. We've had A's first game, Cleveland run lines the other two days. Uh, Atlanta, we've stayed away from that series, although I did grab an Atlanta live when they were on 2 nothing the other day. That being said, I'm going to pass on these. But during the regular season when we get these streaks like this, teams that have won three, three in a row more or lost three in a row more, I'm going to be on the 3-0 team. Uh, just in this spot out of the weekend, no. And, and let's – you know, it's a little, to me, it's been a little wacky with a lot of overs, which I really don't – I feel like the pitcher's going to have the edge early, especially in Philly, Baltimore, since they're like colder weather spots. Temperatures aren't really all that. But yet we see some of these overs. Um, yeah, so I'll pass. On the season, I'm uh, 58% with my Major League Baseball 11 and 8. Let's get to the comments. And again, 11 and 8, it is a, a, a winning record, and we're up money too, by the way. I think my biggest loss on a game as I flip through my baseball here, I mean, minus 114. That's a lie. I know I had the one, I had a 129 on, on Miami. They blew that game. But usually plus money kind of stuff. So let's see how the chat is coming in here today. Michael A. Hickey, happy Easter. Happy Sunday, you and the family, my friend. You as well. My wife made a nice quiche. I didn't eat the quiche, though. I had a nice bagel that I drove um, an hour and a half round trip to pick up on Friday. So I had bagels this morning. Michael, like going for the Dodgers team total over four and a half? Yeah, I didn't. You know what? I forgot to add that in here this morning. I was doing the player props, but I'll be on that again, personally. Sure. Let's get it. Uh, separate parlay cards. Team total three and a half and a game over eight and a half. Yeah, I like the over. I, I actually like St. Louis here, believe it or not. I'm Pulling back and forth, should I take Matt's here and the Cardinals over the Dodgers? Two Mondays and good afternoon, my brother. While some lines specifically for you and others to do, Bet Rivers have minus one lines in baseball. I do not have a Bet Rivers. 
No Ben Rivers for me. Minus one's a baseball. Uh, Tennessee money line, even the refs will send them home knowing my luck. Here we go. It's always the refs. Here's the thing, T-Money. When betting on a fixed game that you think it is, just bet on the team that's supposed to win. So it's Purdue. The O's minus three and a half plus three dollars. O's have they're raking right now. And as much as I like my guy uh Reed Debbers, tough to get in front of the Orioles. Right? I mean, what's this game gonna be? Would they put up a 10 4 What's this game? Nine, nine, three, nine, four. Raise a minus one against Gaussman. Oh, you know I like Gaussman. Little Brian Reynolds. Pirates and Yellick to get over one and a half hits. I'm not a Yellick guy. Steroid Yellick. Terrible. T- Hanwha again. If anyone tell me during late night to catch 14 to 2 or something like that, yes, it was. You came in with Hanwha. <laughs> oh, man. NC State plus 240 on the money line versus Duke. Again, T Money loves betting his money line doggies. He throws a bunch of them out here. And I'm going to say he's probably. Uh, I don't want to say 500, maybe a couple games under 500. And I'm not, he, he might be more. I don't keep track of all his plays. But they are, have been a lot of splits. We, he did take a donut to one day. But again, when you're taking all huge plus money things like this, uh, you could have losing days because you only need one 2 no day. And then that's equal to like a, a 4 no in most cases. Marcos says, Happy Easter. The Higgs and everybody. Marcos, thanks for popping in, my friend. Keith Landry's in the house. Welcome, Keith. Happy Easter to you also. Bet boy Tony C. Tony C is in the house. Where you been? Two so guys to get my drinking habit under control, but it's right to be back. Let's get some money. There we go. Yeah. Uh, drinking and gambling, betting money, not a good combination. That's uh get a rain that in, Tony. Rain that in. Winning free picks on the Facebook, and of course, we got our Facebook posse. We get um, Rick Wild, Dennis O'Brien, Brie O'Kelly, the original Facebook friend. Who else? Mike Downey sometimes pops in on Facebook. Abel Kelly. We got some Facebook. The three. Here we go. Brio, Rick, and Dennis all with the like button on Facebook. Thank you. There's the YouTube for winning free picks. And, of course, Sean Higgs. Again, Wednesday we'll be doing a lot of baseball. It'll be a – you don't want to miss out on that one. Uh oh, Ants in the house. Happy Easter, but I'm going with Jay's money line third day in a row. The run line is the run is now 23 6 and 1 out of the gate. I'm with you on Gasman today. I like Gasman. I'm sorry, I didn't um, get back to you this morning in the text. I apologize for that. Uh, so NC State's wrong, but my guys tell me take the blue dog. I'm, no, I'm not a Duke guy, no. Michael B is in the house. Brio, happy Easter. Good to see you, friend. Uh, really nice Saturday, Michael B. How about those Giants taking a hit? Yes, the so I like we were saying we're kind of like in the at least I was like in the under net series for all the games, and yet here we go a lot of runs for both teams. I I think it's more of a shocker, right for the Giants. All right, you go out. Oh, who they grab? Um, Olson, right? It's. No, who's it? Matt Chapman? One of those cats. Matt Chapman, I think. So you have hitters, and they're finally starting to hit a little bit. Like, the pitching's always been there. And then the Padres side of things, you have a bunch of big names who hadn't been hitting for two years. Let's be honest. I mean, Machado, Tatis, these guys haven't weren't hitting. The Soto didn't hit out there. They like bring in uh, Bogertz. Now these guys are raking like nobody's business. Did not see that coming. Yeah, Illinois. I saw the first second half score I saw for Illinois. I saw the halftime score. I'm like, super. Then I saw a 25 to 2 run to start the second. Blue Devils can get after you kidding me. Uh no. I, I'm with you. I don't like I don't like Duke. Uh Michael B says, you know, I like Purdue, but do not like the line movement. I'm on NC State, but I'm concerned about this Clemson moment. Um, so listen. The Purdue line, let's see where that's at now. I mean, where's the movement on this? I'm seeing threes and three and a half. What, is it down to three? I don't care. I said this against Gonzaga with Purdue. They had beaten Tennessee already. They had beaten Gonzaga twice. They have beaten Marquette, Illinois, everybody that they've come across. 
Give me Purdue. And I don't know if this is their Clemson moment. Everybody's going to be on them. The line is up to seven and a half. I don't, I, you know, Dukes, I don't like the Duke coach. I'm not sold here. Great story for NC State for sure. Let's see. NC State 74 69 in the tournament. Uh, Chevy I 64 71 67. 84 60. That's back in 2023. NC State with a big one there. 2022. It's Duke, 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 Duke. I mean, I get the whole. How do you keep it going? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in a row. I thought they'd go down in that first game versus uh, Texas Tech after beating Duke and, and NC. Didn't happen. Battled through Oakland. Took care of Marquette. I mean, Duke in a dogfight with Houston. And it's like, okay, they. We talked about that. They lose their best player, Houston, and Duke barely wins. I don't know. I'm, I mean, NC State for me. It's the only way to look at it. I've been looking for a live number of Purdue. For those who don't know, Purdue always starts slow. So I can see them being down 12-4 to start to first. Could be. When Tennessee hit some shots. Nick, hit the like button. I'm on, way. I'm on the over Braves and over Twins, over Dodgers, under Marlins. So under Marlins, I mean, that's – Pittsburgh is raking right now, and they've gone over. Why are we on the under here? Over Dodgers, yes. Twins, I guess you're following the uh, the movement on that one with the with the wind. Brave game again. I, I like Sale. I'm hoping for a huge year. We got a Cy Young future there, but I could see it being over the way they're hitting right now. Oakland money line. I, I don't hate that with Blackburn guys. Usually decent at home, and I mean plus one ten. Take the pen out. Twins over. Twins over and out. It's out, Nick. Nick Hill. Twins over eight and a half. Pen out. It's done. It's done, Mike B. And B. I would love to get uh love to back my Giants again, but I have no idea who Dalton Jeffries is. Yeah. Conferto Ruby 275. There you go. Lane, my guy. Good to see you. I just got here, but kind of lean Cardinals tonight too, but I didn't bet on them. Player props were they. Rushman, two bases, 115. Ozzy Albies, Ruby, 145. I like the Ozzy Albies. Rushman, sure. I mean, they're hitting two plus bases. And I'm with down St. Louis. I haven't pulled the trigger. I want to. Marcos, it's like one for you and Mr. Nika. I love it. So time to take San Francisco go over, but can't. I can't because I didn't do it the other days. You know, and, and being against it, I can't come in now. If I come in and take the over here and it goes under, I'm smacking myself because um, – I like the under in the first game. They didn't go under. They went over, and now I'm going against myself. That's why it's okay to, to, to not bet a game or a day. What are my chances hitting NC State 16 to 1? I I think your chance – why? I, I know it's been heavy chalk, and, and it, the better teams are rising up, but it's you're alive. That's all that matters. Purdue got it at minus 3. I like it. I like Purdue today. Tony says, I'm a Terps fan. I still have F2 t-shirt from 2002. I'm really feeling NC State fizzles out. If Duke wins this by 15, is anybody going? I'm not going to be shocked. I said this last time about UConn. I had the I had a nine with uh, Illinois. Um, but would I have been shocked with a like 15-point UConn win? Not really. I mean, they, they dominated them at the start of the second half. It's not shocking. Same thing here. Uh, do I got a dog in the NBA today? Um, I would take the Thunder over the Knicks. I know Mr. Numbers won't be happy. He thinks the Knicks are the best team in the East. Who in our minds betting against UConn right now? And who is betting over 161.5? Yeah. I mean, that game could easily. Here's the thing, though, Jesse. And this is the problem with Duke. I, I think you take UConn over team totals because they're scoring. But I could see Alabama scoring like 55 points here. I, I'm not, I will not be shocked at like 75, 55 or something like that. Like a monster win and UConn getting their 75, some of the points or whatever, you know. Did I get shamed 
yet for asking for the pen. Who was the pen yesterday, Jesse? Pen out. Bama under 84 and a half points. That was that was for the game. That's for today, right? Under 84 and a half out. Pen out, Jesse. Bama under 84 and a half. Why would you get shame for that one? Jake Prouty said Purdue minus three is the lock of the day. And that's all I have for the pen. Is Jesse's Bama under 84 and a half. And now Nick's twins over. Brian Nunzhouse, what do you say? Happy Easter, Brian. Thanks for popping in. Team money, I'd rather fight a bear than throw money on the A's. Minor league team in the majors. <laughs> I'd rather fight a bear. Especially cocaine bear. That guy's a crazy bear. Jesse likes the Rockets in the NBA against the Mavericks. I mean, are they even a dog at a at once? Two hot teams? I mean, you, you want to go dog. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go big or go home. Take the Bulls plus eight, eight and a half. Res Mob. Sean Higgs is going. I appreciate the kind words, Res. I don't know if I'm the GOAT, but I'm trying and doing my, my work here, trying to make us all a couple bucks. I was a lose yesterday. I, I did not pen it yesterday. I don't know which one it was. What was the pen game? I didn't write it down. I got your pen bet as Bama under a four and a half. That game was under all the way. Then they went mental and. F- oh, that's right, Bama. The eighty nine. I was gonna say, wait, did that go under? I, th- I even had it, but see, again, Jesse, I don't even remember. <laughs> it's like, it's a new day. Stop, Joe's in the house. Good luck, Higgs. And the chat, Tony C says, Cleveland owns the A's automatic money line bet if it's under 130. Like, here's the thing, though, with this. And this is, I mean, automatic. To Tony, come on. What do you stop it? You're, get off the bottle. You're saying you're trying to curb the drinking. You say things are automatic. Why is it under 130? As bad as the A's are. I mean, Cookie Carrasco is 115. I don't want to lay 115 with, the, with Cleveland. No way. The A's are like Cleveland Indians for Major League Movie with, without Charlie Sheen. Yeah. I was going to watch that on HBO Max last night. I ended up turning on uh, Escape from New York instead. Love a little John Carpenter. But now, Markel, hello, I'm on the O's. Two and a half at the Guardians minus one and a half. See, Cleveland's the only way I'm going to go. I don't want to lay 115. So if they're going to win, at least I'll lose even money instead of uh, laying anything on Cookie Carrasco. Dave said, who won a basketball game? Take San Antonio plus eight and a half over Golden State. Big dog. What are the Wimby props? Wimby. I don't know. I think he's a cross between Manute Bowl and Sean Bradley. I'm going to start getting on him like I get on uh, Steph Curry. Berkey's in the house. He get a man. Bueno Pasco Fratello. Can we say, is that Dan Pasqua? I remember Dan Pasqua for the Yanks. I'm not going to lie. When I play out-of-the-park baseball, I go back to 1986, I um, I juiced Dan Pasqua up. GM mode. Thought he was going to be the next Mattingly. It's because he's a lefty like Donnie. So let's hope for the best. To the family, how much important thing we have? Yes, it is. Uh, sometimes I, you know, I, I do my family stuff. That's why some days I don't come in. Orioles money line on my slate. Really debating the Purdue game or is it per don't? Ninja will tell you it's per don't or per do do. I like Purdue. And Orioles, I like the run line today. It's in the chat. Speaking of which, our picks we got NC State, Orioles run line, Royals under, and Dodgers over. Michael B. Escape from New York. Snake Bliskin takes on the Duke of New York. Yeah, the Duke. <laughs> Just a good little soundtrack. Isaac Hayes, the Duke, the Brain, Harry Dean Stanton. You know, I like the music. Dun, 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 Here comes the Duke. It's a song you can find on YouTube. Go ahead. I'll wait. Here comes the Duke. Always team total over four and a half. Yeah. I uh, I got the player prop there on Mount Castle, so I like the over. And if I got a run line, uh, I need some runs, Tony. So, yeah, I definitely want over four and a half. It's happy Easter to tell you. 
I get it. Well, I see the Pasqua. I'm thinking Dan Pasqua. That's that's how I think. Forget about Bono Pasqua. It's Dan Pasqua, New York Yankees right fielder back in 86, 87. Dan Pasqua. I'm, Perky, I'm always going to roll something from the 80s, maybe a little 90s. Tishul says, by the way, I honestly, that if you binge watch the last dance, you're going on a massive winning streak. It worked for me. <laughs> it's the goat coming through the screen to help you. Luca triple double says, Money on Markel today. A triple double for Luca. Here's another one, a 90s song. My name is Luca. And that might actually be 89. My name's Luca. I live on a second floor. Anybody know that one? Luca and Dan Pasqua. And the Duke, of, and here comes the Duke from. Uh, Escape from New York. I'm throwing everything out at you today. Today's the day. Judge Homer plus 230. FanDuel sprinkle. Today's the day. Today's the day. I don't know. JP France. I see London. I see France. I see JP's underpants. Remember that as a kid? That could be any year. You know, I'm a pinstripe bloody guy. I, you know, I love. Uh, Luca got a sore hammy. Speaking over moons over my ham, I'm going to have some nice ham for dinner tonight. And then, of course, leftovers. We got ham and eggs for Brecky. Brecky. Was it, wasn't it Luna? No, it's Luca. Her name is Luca. I live upstairs from you. Yes, I think you've seen me before. If you hear something late at night, some kind of trouble, some kind of fight, just don't ask me what it was. <laughs> Uh, Michael B. Rockets are interesting today as a short dog, but I mean, how are you fading a match of 110 in a row and 14 last 15? The Mavs have won 9 of 10, and the Rockets have won 10 in a row. Again, that's a pass. Why are you jumping on either team? The Rockets have won, are just as hot. Gav Higgs, he said, when Bynum would be a bust, it looks good to me. I know. That's why I just said he's a cross between Manu Paul and, and Sean Bradley. I Did I? I had that. Is it still pinned on my uh, Twitter? I had that. Wimba equals Sean Bradley. And let's be honest. We're a one season in. I'm not complaining about it. He averages 20 points. What's 10, 12, you know, 10 boards, I guess. Um, the blocks are good. He's averaging almost what, four blocks a game. But, I, you know, for me, one season, uh, I'm not sold. One season to me doesn't make the guy. The best ever. Is he a bust yet? As of now, I'm not going to say a bust. You come in as a rookie having a great season. Am I wrong? Yeah, I guess I am wrong, right? Because he's averaging 20 and 10 in four uh, four blocks. But let's see. Let's see how the career goes. Let's see how the career I mean, someone's told me that Ben Simmons isn't a bust. Like I said, that guy's in my head. I think Ben Simmons is an absolute bust. Uh, but Wemby so far? No. I am... Uh, I was wrong. I thought he wouldn't be this good. Mr. Hill's in there. Good to see you. What do you say? Orioles and D-backs run lines. Sure. Sure. I don't hate this. B Fatty's on the hill for the for the D-backs and a nice little postseason run for the B Fatty. Let's see if it continues. Purdue to cover. I'm I'm all on Purdue. I, and I I, I could blame Jesse and Ross. Ross assigned me the Purdue game last Wednesday and I dug into it. I'm like, how the heck these guys beat every sweet sixteen team? Zero respect. Purdue, UConn. I don't want to say get the pen out. And I like NC State as well. Got NC State right here in the chat. t says, Wemby will be a stat machine loser. Probably because the team is bad. And you know about having bad teams, right? I mean, you're on a, you're on a Laker team that's barely in the playoffs. So you know about cheering for a team, the guys with uh, LeBron and AD who just paid their stats. They're like Stats Padford, another L.A. guy. Team money. You know I'm going to come in and throw a little – I got to tease a little team money. I haven't teased him this today. He'll make a lot of money and have nice stats. I mean, he's just in a tough conference. I mean, you got Denver's ahead of you. Um, Oklahoma City's getting better. Minnesota. I'm not going to count the Lakers or the Clippers or Warriors because they got all old guys on their way out. Stop Gia says Joker triple doubles plus 280 on FanDuel. Uh, laughing at my Lakers, but you are wrong so far. It's depressing. <laughs> Gabe, my guy, good to see you. Let's go, Vols. Just covered a number, he says. Good to see you, Gabe. Kevin, your stand-up guy, New York or OKC today? I like OKC. I like OKC. Kind of like the over two in that game. Player Prop King is in a house with his brand new house. Congratulations on that new house, Player Prop. 
always nice moving to do house. It's, it's um, a little stressful. I remember we first moved into a home though, it was a long time ago. So I'm on my my third home. Hopefully my final home. Michael B. I don't know what it is. The Spurs are pop. Great organization. Another top pick, I think, in a few years with health. With health Spurs would back playoff team. How much time has Pop got? The guy's like 70. I mean, they, they, they were in a good show. And that's also why I'm kind of like, I, 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 I want to actually lay it here with Golden State. What are they doing in the three, four in a row? Like, should they be playing for like a draft pick or more balls or however the heck the NBA works now? Player props coming. Gasman over strikeouts. I like Gasman. So you're gonna throw Gasman strikeout prop up there. I'm not gonna disagree. 135 though. East. What are we gonna do? If Tennessee and Purdue play five times, I think Tennessee would win three to five. But Purdue shooting scared from the guards right now. I don't know if Tennessee wins three. How can you say they they'd win three? Five? Tennessee's lost four games all season long. Are you not Tennessee? Purdue. And, and they beat this team already. They beat them. I mean, if you tell me they'd win two out of five, or maybe. I just don't get the. And again, it's one game. Anything is possible. But we want to look at how teams have played this year. Can we look no further? Gonzaga win, Tennessee win, Marquette win, all on a neutral. Uh, Alabama neutral win, Arizona neutral win, Illinois home win, Illinois road win. Um, Gonzaga again neutral win. Okay, you lost in overtime to Wisconsin on a neutral. You lost to Northwestern in overtime on the road. Northwestern also gave you a pizza last year and gave you a battle this year. So the Northwestern games, I'm going to give you a team knows how to play you well. You want to get mad at losing to Nebraska? Uh, okay. I mean, at that point, you're whatever. You lost a road game. How many teams have lost road games in conference play? Why? I don't know. And I haven't really been high on Purdue, right? I said, I've said it here before. UConn, Carolina. I thought Arizona had Final Four. I had Arizona to, to win it. Not like I'm a Purdue loyalist here, but uh, man, these guys. I, I'm going to take a Purdue championship future. Zero respect. Jack Flannery, Detroit, under 60 FKs. Yes. Baltimore run line. Yes, that is in the chat right there. Top of the board. Toss 125. Rendon under runs. Uh, where's this guy bad today? I closed the uh, the lineup window there from Roto. Let's see where he let's see where he plated himself yesterday. Oh, leading off, and I love it. I love it. Anthony Rendon, forty million dollars a year. Let's not trade him. That'll be bad for us. O for seven, three Ks on the season. I don't hate it. I mean, who's even – is he getting on base? Will Benson, since he under strikeouts. Well, that's 135. Who's Will Benson? I like that they're all unders. Volpe over hits. And Nugent Suarez over hits. There's a 150. There we go. So they're half hits. Volpe's hitting 400 Suarez. I like this one. I like that one. Volpe's with money. Yeah, he's, he's, he's hot. He is hot. He is hot out of the gate. So is the – Cabrera. That's why I took that's why I did a little Cabrera prop here. Well, I don't it's scrolling there he is. This came by 245 Ribby. Ribbity. All right. So uh maybe we'll do a little look at line set. I don't know. I'm 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 torn between tonight. We'll see. Put the notifications on Sean Higgs winning free picks. We'll see if we do a show later on. I'm not I'm not sure. Matt Olson on his birthday crushing his player prop. But that's it. That's the show. NC State today, six and a half. Orioles run line one twenty five. Royals under eight and a half. Dodgers over nine. Some of the lines may have moved. NC State line has been up all week. 
Orioles, Royals, and Dodgers all went up last night. So if they move, I do apologize, but it could happen. Braves team total over four and a half. Yes. Yes, yes, Braves team total over. They hit. I'm out of here. Happy Sunday.